Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to start JavaScript and JavaScript as we have discussed previously as well, in order to write test cases or automate the test within Postman for API testing, we need to understand JavaScript. So I'll be covering all of the JavaScript that is required for you to become an API tester, automation uh, tester or automate the APIs. So let's quickly get started with the JavaScript part of this. API testing course with Postman. So the first thing is I'll simply, so we'll write the JavaScript code here in the pre, pre request or the test. So we'll just utilize the console of the Postman wherein we can write the code and understand the execution and we'll use the console to display or uh, to see the outcome of those JavaScript code that we are writing here. Now basically whatever we write here, the pre-request script or the test is a JavaScript code. So we'll be basically utilizing this console rather than some other ID. So you can basically correlate things very easily with this particular tutorial. So what I'll do is let me uh, zoom in a little bit. So it's clear. Okay. Now we can see that we have the, we have this console, right? And then start writing the JavaScript. So the first thing is to understand how you are going to comment in JavaScript. For example, I do not want to execute this particular statement. Okay. So if I clear this and send this particular request, these are the JavaScript code, basically console.clear and console.log will log the whatever you are trying to print on the console here. For example, pm.globals.get.test URL. This is the statement that printed that test underscore URL variable. Okay. Now, if I don't want to run this particular statement, I can simply comment it out. So to comment a statement in JavaScript, you simply say double forward slash. Okay. And the shortcut is control forward slash and it will comment that particular line. Okay. Now, if I send this particular request, you will see this time the test URL value hasn't been printed. Only console.clear got executed, which is printing this console was. Clear. Okay. So this is how you are going to comment single line comment. Now, if I have to do multi line comment, multi line comment is very simple as well. So basically start with forward slash and then start. Okay. And then wherever you want to end basically, right? So I want to say, for example, I don't want to consider both of these lines in my execution. So I'll just say at the end star and then forward slash and this whole thing here, both the lines are now commented and this is how you will do multi-line comments. Okay. So if I send this, you will see that save this first, clear it. And then you'll see that none of the statements are executed right so neither console or clear or this one okay it only printed or just send this particular request and that is what has been logged in the console here so this is about commenting now the next thing we want to learn is basically the variables okay so how you can define the variables in javascript now to start with what exactly is a variable right so variable is nothing so for example to define a javascript variable there are multiple of there are keywords so basically there is one v keyword var to define a variable okay the second keyword is let okay which is after i think for 2015 or 16 later 2015 uh, later let was introduced and then there is a const okay these three keywords you can use to basically define a variable when we say variable i can say variable say for example name Okay, this is the name of the variable and name can be name can hold the value. Okay, a string. Okay, so so for example, name is a string. So within the double quotes or within the single quote as well, I can also say I can say this as well. I can say name RCV Academy in the single quotes. So this is also valid. So either double quotes within a string or single quote. Okay, so let me change this value. Now, same thing I can do with the let as well. I can say let name okay or i'll say i'll change it as first name okay i'll say first name as rc okay followed by semicolon then constant is something which is a constant value right so for example the value of pi okay which you know that it's not going to change across so you can define that with the constant keyword okay so i'll say you know the number so here it was string and in the variable i can define other data type as well i can say age which will have the numbers Okay, I can say the I can assign a boolean value. I can say is visible, right? So is visible will either be true or false, right? So I can say true. And this is this is visible variable will be holding what the value is true. Okay, so number string and three important keywords. So where let 
or constant any one of it you can use to define a variable define a variable and assign a value okay now what is the difference basically if i say let's say i have defined these variables okay so i can say let me print okay so i'll say console dot log right and then i want to print this okay whatever the value is held into this particular variable i want to print it on console i'll simply that similarly let me copy paste each of these variables and i'll change this one to eight right because i want to print eight and then the third one is is visible and then i have another variable name okay so let me print that as well say so name again and then here i have defined it with the first name so i'll print the first name there and then i will say the value of so let me print everything there okay I'll send this particular request you will see now first it has printed rcv academy okay so it has printed this one the second one was the age which is 25 that has been printed so age is holding the value 25 which, ha which has been printed third one is is visible true has been printed then again name rcv academy one because we have used the same variable here name which was holding rcv academy initially and then rcv academy one with the same variable so when when i say console.log name again it is holding rcv academy one then first name is holding rcv which has been printed and then the pi value which has been printed there okay so now this is basically how you are going to define the variable assign the value and print it okay now what is the difference between variable and let right so in the where, where you'll see that i have defined the variable name okay as name and then reassign the name a new value to that name and there was no complaining about it right now here let's say i have this let first name i have used let keyword okay and then i want to assign a new value to the first name okay in the same so this is the same context right so the scope is same there is no different scope as such there is no different method okay there is a first line and then just after that in the same scope i am trying to redefine with the let keyword okay so if i send this now let's see what happens you will see something went wrong okay what went wrong identify first name has already been declared okay now because with the let keyword the scope is within the function or within the within the particular module and say you can define it just once if you want to redefine the same variable then it has to be in a different scope okay or different method right so this is this this will understand clearly when we go to the method and function part of it but this is the difference between the where where is basically you can redefine but with let and constant okay so for example i have defined the constant here okay now i want to define a separate value for constant okay then i can't do as the same it will behave the same way let me comment this okay and send it you will see identify pi, pi has already been declared right so that is the difference between the keyword var and let and const so let and const won't allow you to redefine the variable but var will allow you to redefine the variable okay so this is brief about the variable and how you are going to define it how you are going to use it right so at the moment we are just printing the values in the variable but eventually we'll be defining it and using it in our test script okay this is very basic of it now to give you a practical concept of what exactly you know this variable when we define the variable and assign a value to it what exactly happens so say for example this is one of the box right if you if you can see this this is one of the box okay which, which has a name on it right so the, it has the name amethyst point name um, i'll just try to point it there right so the, it has a tag there it, it has a name okay now this name you can consider as say for example this name okay if i say amethyst point that is the identifier that holds what that holds the value that is inside the the thing that is this this stone that is inside in here right so this is something similar so the actual value the thing is rcv academy this is the name the identifier that you see on this particular box and this box is some nothing but the memory within the system within your computer that holds this particular value so when we say name or when we say amethyst point then i know that amethyst point variable name holds this stone at the moment if i open this value okay and i remove this and i pick this cap here and put this cap in here okay and close it right so the, now this memory or this box okay if i take the context of the computer this box is now holding or memory is holding this cap right so the same variable that 
was holding, holding RCV Academy initially name I have changed this value to the cap right so if I'll say name again it will say now this name is holding this cap right or the RCV Academy one that got printed right so this is basically in the computer context the value okay the value that is being assigned okay the value that is being assigned close this console the value that is being assigned is the actual value that gets stored on the in the memory of the computer this is the identifier that identifies the or points to that particular value so for example first name will hold rcv as a value if you say print the value that is held at that particular memory location which is rc okay so this is the practical uh, relation in the context from the very simple box example i hope uh, this was uh, clear enough what exactly are variables in any programming language this concept is kind of same right in javascript you define it with different with var let and const so that's all about the variables in javascript i hope it was helpful thank you very much for